Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure side of Cespresso. I'm joined here today by Estera, which means we're going to talk about Apache Spark on Azure signups. And today we're going to talk about library management. Now, library management, basically bringing in your own libraries into your, uh, Azure signups, is it possible? And how do you do it? That's what Estera is going to explain for us today. Yeah, so we we are going to dive into the three levels of packages uh, that are allowed within Azure Synapse Analytics, and that will explain how you can install uh, your libraries packages per specific like level, but as well as language that you are using. Hey, cool. We have three level of packages. Uh, the default level, uh, the default packages, which are predefined and shipped within the runtime. The second category is we have Spark pool level libraries, what means that you can add them, install them at your Spark compute level. So it reflects the team organization level. And the last, the third category is session level packages, which allowed you to install libraries through inline command within your notebook. First up, let's let's do the demo. So we have a default package level, which is owned by Microsoft, and it includes a full Anaconda installation, along with additional commonly, commonly used libraries for Java, Scala, R. These default level packages are included automatically every time when a Spark instance starts. It means that you don't have to spend any time installing those libraries and you can just directly use them uh, they are shipped and ready so what's more we also take care of upgrading between versions and we ensure that the libraries are compatible with each other per each runtime which we ship we include a full list of libraries that are uh, specified as a package and the the version Okay, cool. So basically, the, the runtime that we have is already a complex fel engine fully integrated. I remember setting up those HD inside clusters in a, in a way back. It's always this version does work with this version. So that's all taken care of for us now. But can we also like install custom libraries? Yes. Uh, yeah, as you said, it's a like complex engine ready to be used. But sometimes customers want to use some specific either their libraries or uh, libraries that are not included as a default. So uh, you can install your custom libraries on the Spark pool level. In order to do so, simply navigate to Manage tab in your Synapse Studio, then Configuration and uh, Apache Spark Pools. So here we have two options. Uh, we can either upload the requirements file or select uh, the, the file from the like workspace packages that are available for your um, organization. So um, here, the requirements file, that is the typical way that right now you can see that I, I'm uploading. It's uh, defining the library name as well as the version and the source uh, which is providing this specific library. So either you can provide a file or also the, the jar, the, the um, like, per your package uh, like true, true file. So once we made the selection, either upload or uh, upload file or binary uh, package, then we simply click apply and our system process the files and install all the required uh, libraries for you. So I have to point here one, one small thing that the workspace, so Spark pool level packages, and they are um, they have to be installed right now once you upload it and define it so it takes a little time especially if the package has complex dependencies but don't worry we have got uh, you covered here you just have to specify what you want to install now installing session uh, level packages so Python is one of the most popular programming languages, and we know that it's widely used in Synapse Spark Analytics. So one of the most convenient features and way to install libraries for Python is using inline command. The com this command is pip install that you can just put in your, in your uh, cell node and define what libraries you would, you would like to install within 
the session. So it means that you are defining the library, you are installing it, and you don't, you are not breaking the current session. So the library is immediately available for you. And here in this demo, I install Altai library to build some custom visualization. And it was just as simple as that as defining the library, running pip install library name, and I can access it. So to summarize, as you can see, with package management, you can easily install your own libraries. This can be done at the Spark pool level, which applies to the entire Spark cluster, or you can do that at the session level for, for each specific uh, language. We know that this feature library management is uh, fundamental as allows you to expand fu Spark's functionalities by adding custom libraries, your libraries and more dependencies that will help you to build solutions that would, will meet your specific needs. Awesome. Yeah. So basically, Astera shows us three different ways of showing how to do library management inside Azure Signups with Apache Spark. If this was the first time you're visiting our channel and you like the video, just give us a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, just write them in the comments. And if you'd like to see more of this content, just subscribe to this channel. Um, as always, from the Signups Espresso team, this was Dan and Estera. Thank you for watching. See you next time.